Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is remove all adjacent duplicates in string. So we will be given a string and an integer k. A k duplicate removal consists of choosing k adjacent and equal letters from S and removing them. So k adjacent equal letters means like if k is 3, so a a a if a is occurring three times that is k times then we have to remove those three a's causing the left and the right side of the deleted substring to concatenate together what does that mean see for example we have a string a a a something like this we have right and k is three so we will find out if there are adjacent same letters and count should be equal to 3 uh, equal to k which is 3 so see these are same letters and that two, three three letters right same which is k so what we will do we will remove these three so when we remove this the left of the this substring this is a substring right because they are adjacent so left of this substring and right of this substring will concatenate together so b and c this will be the final string final string okay so we repeatedly make k duplicate removals on s until we no longer can return the final string after all such duplicate removals have been made it is guaranteed that answer is unique okay so see uh, here there is k is 2 but there are no duplicates at the same duplicates so obviously there is nothing to delete and this will be the output let's see this test case okay so here uh, I am removing just erasing this so for this test case we have k is equal to 3 okay so first step what we need to find we need to find adjacent same how many letters k letters that is three letters and we have to what do what we have to remove them remove so see here e e e are e, there are three occurrences of letter e same letter and that two adjacent right so we have we will remove this so when we remove this what will happen d and this d will concatenate right and rest of the string will be same b b then three c's and b d a a okay now they have written that we have to repeatedly do this k duplicate removals until we no longer can so just find out see there is one the c is also occurring three times together adjacent so we will remove this also so when we remove it we will get d d b b this is get this is removed so b and then d a a now see again we get this b b b together so we'll remove that and when we remove it we'll get d d and then this d and then a a so again we get three d's together we'll remove them and we will get a a as the final string so output will be a a okay see output for this is a so i hope you understood the problem now let's discuss how we can approach it. so see guys one simple brute force approach is uh, which directly comes into our mind is that we will find out k like if there are k adjacent letters and if they are we will just remove them simply okay so see that how we can do uh we have this ee -E right here E, e, e. so see for example i will be iterating first of all i will have i pointer i will come here i will check whether there are three k occurrences k is adjacent same letters if there are adjacent same letters what i will do i will find out i will just concatenate this string till this i and i plus k that is still here so I will pick this substring, whatever was before this i and i plus k from i plus k substring till this. 
so i will concatenate this and this together d d b like this and rest of the string and i will do this for entire string so i will i i will shift i here that is uh, here at this position right so this is like how i can do it brute force so for this what will be the time complex see one thing is that we will be iterating on this entire string each letter will be iterating and for every we will be checking whether there are adjacent k elements or not right whether there are adjacent k elements or not okay so what it will be we'll be traversing the entire string n and for each we will have a for loop right we'll have a for loop in which we'll be checking the k letters so n into k will be the time complex so i hope you understood this one uh, approach right but this is not efficient okay so uh, what we will be doing is we will see another approach so let's see that here let me write this case case again so d e e e b b b c so see here k value could be 10 raised to power 4 right so 10 raised to power 5 into 10 raised to power 4 will be 10 raised to power 9 here this could be 10 raised to power 9 hence it will get t l e okay so b b we have b b c three times and then d a a okay and k is 3 so now guys see what we need to do is we need to let's say we are here so we need to check whether there are previously k minus 1 same letters or not like if this is let's say i so up uh, before before i or after i there should be uh, k minus 1 same this letters like e okay this we need to check so see guys whenever there is something like we have to check previous characters right Pre previous characters or any previous element we need to check then what we can think of using a stack why because in stack we store the previous elements for example if i am traversing this string so i'll store this d then i'll go to e then i'll again go to e okay like this i will be storing the previous characters again i'll go to e then again go to d something like this so you can use a stack now pause the video and try to think how you can use stack in this scenario so see guys i am storing this e e three times what if i just store like this is this e i do not store individually if i am getting same e again and again like adjacent e's i will be storing the count of that e's like e comma 3 so if e is occurring 3 times that is k times then i will just simply remove this e don't worry you will get it let's dry run once so see what we will do we'll take a stack okay we will be taking a stack and we we'll start iterating and in stack right we'll be storing a pair we'll be storing a pair in pair what will be the two elements first will be the character whatever the character is we are inserting in the stack and its count okay so for first of all we traverse we go to d d there is nothing in the stack like stack is empty so first of all we will just insert this d with count 1 okay now i go to e i just simply insert this e with count 1 then i go to this e now i will check every time i will check right every time i will check whether this letter is equal to the top this top pairs first element or not this is e e equal so i will just increment this count and it, i will make it 2 okay again i'll go further i will check this e is similar to the top 
top pair this is pair at the top right so and this e is equal to the first element of the pair so i will just simply increase its count so this will become 3 now see guys this 3 count is equal to k hence we can just simply remove these three edges and e's from our string so what i will do i will simply pop this from stack fine now we go further we get d now just see this d it's equal to the top element in the stack so i will just simply increase its count so see guys obviously when these e's are removed right this d and this d will come together so that's why d two times then we go further we go to b b is not this this b is not equal to this d so b will in, add in the stack and its count will be initially one then we go to next b its count will be again two because this b is equal to this b. then we go to c now this c is not equal to this b so we will include us we will add a c and count will be one so we go to this another c c c same so count increase again go further c and c count increase it becomes three then we go to this d oh before going to this d c this count has become equal to k so we will just simply remove this from the stack so these also are removed these three are removed now we go to this d this d is not equal to uh here this b right i think i have missed something so after this c right there was a b so after these three c's there was a b here so we go to this b right and this b is equal to this b so count will become 3 here count will become 3 here and this 3 is equal to k so we will remove these b's so this right this b these three b's are removed after that we go and find d and this d is equal to this top element so its count will increase 3 so we again we get count 3 which is equal to k so we will remove this also that is that is c this this d this d and this d are removed then we go to this a stack is empty so just simply add a and count one and then again we go to this a same same letter so we just increase its count okay now we have traversed the entire string and we will just simply pop from this stack and we will see a a is two times so with this will be the output string. okay and one more thing guys here right now here there is when only one element in the stack but let's say for example here in the stack we have a b two times right so then when we pop from the stack right string will become b b this b will come out first then this a will come but we have to reverse this right we have to reverse this this will be the final string why because this a is inserted for before right so obviously it will be first in the string so this needs to be reversed so i hope you understood the approach and the diagram now let's see the code once try to write code by yourself make cases so see first of all obviously if size of the string is less than k just simply return the string take a stack stack will have a pair character and the integer that is this character and its count so we will iterate on the string okay and if the stack is empty or the stack tops first stack top see stack top will be a pair and the first element of that pair will be the character so if that is not equal to s of i that is this character is not equal to the current character so we add the pair in the stack with count 1 otherwise what we do we will pop that pair from the stack we will make a new pair and we will increase its count by one for example if d was like d two times and d again comes so we will pop this from here 2 plus 1 we will do 3 and then we will include add the pair in the stack and
and if the stack stops second that is the count right this count becomes equal to k so just pop that from the stack so after this we will make the answer string just keep on popping from the stack and how many times the count is there of the stack just add that element in the answer that many times for example b was two times so answer string will be b b then a was two times so a a and after that we will reverse the string so it will become a a b b so i hope you understood the problem and the approach time complexity is o of n we are doing single traversal and uh, space is also o of n because we have taken a stack so if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you